Konbonwa, uh, everybody. This is Morgan Strong Comnic here. So I'm going to be up front in this video. I'm probably not going to be um, really upbeat or cheery at first uh, because I was supposed to tonight do my big inclusive live stream with all my patrons, a Q&A and interactive game because normally only the $10 Shining Star tier get the interactive game. But for the holidays, I figured to do that. I bought um, all kinds of stuff and was setting it up and prepping it and everything and my internet refused to work and it's still not working so this video is actually being recorded on my phone itself and then I will upload it later because uh, the other one with the interactive game I kind of need a live audience whereas this one I do not so I figured maybe opening um, some things that I purchased that came in today from my favorite, one of my favorite places, will uh, cheer me up. So I will try to get there. It's nothing against you guys. It's nothing against uh, Box Lunch or Hot Topic, which is where I'm opening from today. It's just how things are. Um, but I take things very personally. I can't handle disappointing people. Um, so mentally, I know it's not my fault. It's out of my control. But internally, um, like my stomach's real knotted and my heart's beating a little too fast and I just kind of feel like a big loser <laughs> right now to be honest because I'm so grateful to all the people who support me especially my patreons and that's how I think them is doing these monthly um sneak peeks and reveals and videos and exclusive merch and things like that so yeah so anyway just wanted to give you a little uh heads up it's nothing against the products it's definitely nothing against you guys if you're watching thank you a million times over um and if you are one of my patreons and we're looking forward to the video today socks come on baby uh then i will try to do it my plan is to do it on uh, next wednesday today when i record this is wednesday uh december 29th so we're going to try to do it january the 5th at eight o'clock central time to about nine o'clock central time which is um, also a Wednesday. <sighs> so there's that. And then that will be for December and then January we'll go back. Um, I don't know if I'll do an interactive game, but I'll do something special in January just for the Shining Stars tiers. And I'll definitely do the monthly Q&A for everybody. Um, so I'll figure that out and send out the schedule, but my internet's down. So, and I left, I had work I was going to do after the video because I didn't really feel that great today, to be honest, anyway. I took a nap. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what's going on. So we're going to open some box lunch stuff. But before I do that, um, I did, since Laura Olympus season two ended on Christmas day, if you had fast pass, if not, it should end for you in about three weeks. Um, I wanted to do my little Laura Olympus kind of um, show off the hoodie. I actually opened it in one of the unboxing videos. And it it's really pretty. Um, it's warm, but not too warm. Um, it fits well for $55. Regular price, I hope it would. But it's very beautifully designed, and I really enjoy it. So uh, thank you. Uh, I think it was Box Lunch I got this from, to be honest. I don't quite recall. And then I have... Um, I've had these for a little bit, a couple months. And they're from Hot Topic. So I've got Persephone bracelets. I've got her in her spring form and her in her future queen form. Uh, so I've, Hades has his girls. And I got Hades, of course, right up here. <laughs> um, and then my mom got me these really beautiful barrettes. There's like six of them. They're all stunning. Because I always have to wear something in my hair. So I picked a pink one uh, for Persephone. I thought it made sense and the pomegranate and all that stuff and then my hair is up because I was messing with food <laughs> and I was kind of um, lazy today and didn't do anything with my hair so <coughs> I joke on water <coughs> so like Poseidon so that's a little bit of that <coughs> so I opened up my um Hot Topic one early because I didn't realize I was going to do a video because I didn't realize my box lunch one was like coming the day after. So I already opened it, so I apologize, but I will show it off. It's, it was a very small order. And I mostly ordered it for one thing, but I did get a little something else. So I got it on the passport bag. 
Um, they they are good. They have two compartments and they carry lots of stuff. They have a pretty canvas design. This is Kiki and Tombo when they're talking after the day crashes a flying machine bike. Uh, the colors are gorgeous. Like I said, it's got that good old soft canvas material. I have two others of these. I have a purple Sailor Moon one. And it has like all their weapons on it. And then I have a pink cupcake one that is... I think they're all representative Disney princesses. Uh, the pink and purple one have already tattered just a little bit, although I haven't used them that often. So these definitely aren't like as sturdy as like um, the pleather mini backpacks, but those are a lot more expensive. So these usually tend to go for about uh, 14 to 17 ish dollars, depending. Um, they have the name of the, mer the merchandise brand, like, you know, whatever it's from. And then I love on the back, it has the birds again, and it has the blimp, which is really beautiful right there. So, yeah, I got that for about $14. And then what I really wanted, oh, I don't know. But you can kind of see in there. So it can hold like a, my wallet's huge. It can hold like a wallet, some keys, a phone, something like that. Um, so something exclusive that they... Um, we're promoting online. I said at first you can only get it at stores, and I'm part of a Laura Olympus fan group with my friend Sarah, who's also obsessed with it. <laughs> We're both obsessed. Let's get my camera back just a little bit. And they have these enamel pins, which I'm also getting obsessed with, and they're tarot cards. So there's six of them, and I just cut off the back of one of them because I thought the design was cool. So they're tarot card enamel pins, and they have Hermes as the magician. He Kate as the High Priestess, which makes sense. Uh, Hera as the Empress. Persephone in her queen form as Death. Hades as Judgment. And then Hades and Persephone dancing and he's hugging her from behind as the lovers. So I thought that was really cool. I think tarot cards are really interesting. Um, I did like a beginner's kid-friendly version back in middle school. Kind of that was loosely based on like her captor Sakura. Um... I found something on the internet that showed me how to do it. And it was really fun. I enjoyed it. I have a couple of friends who do tarot as well. And I think it's really, really fascinating and beautiful, especially the artwork. So, yeah. So, there's that. And normally with enamel pins online, I got five. I thought about getting six. I should have actually now. Um, my luck's not always the best. My friend, sports friend Sarah, she always like the same one. But I was really blessed this time. So I got five different tarot card enamel pins. And I ended up getting five of the <laughs> five different uh, people. I'm just missing Hermes, the magician. So let me show you. So here's Hades for the judgment. That's him in his uh, Greek form when they go out to visit the mortals. Hera as the Empress, and she's the Queen. She's in her modern fashion when they're in the godly realm. He came in her full god divine form as the High Priestess with her three heads, which follows Greek mythology, of course. Um, death with Persephone in her future Queen form. I really like, um, like this is like the only time we've in canon seen her like this. Um, but I, we keep using the same picture. I, I have like this picture in a dozen different things, which not that I don't like it, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like we could update it a little bit, at least do like, like a new canon image for this. Um, even if it's just for like promotional purposes, like not part of the story, but if the artist did something, um, because, I, I mean, I've seen beautiful fan art, like, a galore of this, but obviously that's not canon. And then the lovers, and I'm so glad this is a fairly a newer scene from season two, from just a couple months ago, um, of Hades and Persephone when they were dancing when her family came to visit. So, um, that's not really spoiling anything, but I love that for the lovers. I'm glad it's a different thing. So, I'm really lucky I got uh, five out of the six. I might get a few more if we go... Um, we're planning on going to the city in two weeks for our uh, lunch money and hot cash when they actually intermingle. There's only like a couple days where they do and of course we work so, <laughs> during the, the weekdays. So we we'll go on a weekend and maybe see if they have them because that would be pretty cool. Um, maybe I can get Hermes if I don't. 
then I might just buy them online um, if then he's not outrageously expensive. Uh, I know Sarah, she did pretty good too. She needs, uh, she got two Harrah's though. And then she's got Hades, He Kate, and Persephone. So she needs, Mer er, I keep saying Mercury. She needs Hermes as well. And she needs the lovers. Just a few little uh, things from Hot Topic. And I believe the pins were $9 a piece, which is about average for the enamel pin uh, blind bags. But they were like real thick bags and you just, you actually had to cut them. I couldn't rip them at all. You just straight cut and they were there. So no cushion, no nothing. So they're a little different in that regard. Because usually like there's the crinkly plastic bag on top. You, I could pop, do the pop trick. They've got a little thing, thing, thing cardboard around it so you can't fully see it. You just shake it out carefully or you can pull it out if it's something you can pull and there it is so that's my favorite thing the pop trick and i taught sarah how to do that so <laughs> okay now we got this big old boy here and this is i thought it was just, um an amazon order but it was huge i'm sitting here like i all my amazon orders are here um from the holidays i mean i might do a few personal ones because i was very blessed and got some gift cards for the holidays but i have to kind of monitor my money carefully with car payments and things like that. But then I was like, what is this? I just assumed it was Amazon. But then I got a notification from Box Lunch saying, delivery here. And they don't do that often. They do on occasion, but maybe because this was a bigger order, they did that. So I'm like, oh, well, okay. So, cool beans. Now here's my lunch money. Which I already knew that was coming. I got an email on that. So if you have, have bought from Box Lunch, from, I should tell you, from November 15th to, hi cat, to January 4th, then you can get uh, lunch money. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then when you can use it, so basically, um, let's say you buy $60 worth of stuff. If you have a 30 dollar box lunch money you get half of it for free so it's kind of like you half it i won't tell you how much money this is. <laughs> uh, but anyway so between january 6th and january 16th uh this upcoming year year you can use your box lunch box lunch money and then hot topic i think they start around the 14th i'll have to look and in in the and around the end of January. So you, sometimes they like miss each other by just like a day or two. Because they're by the same company. So I think they did that on purpose. High socks. But uh, anyway. And I got a 25% off coupon. Which I tried to use for this order. The other one I had. But it wouldn't work no matter how much I tried. It would have been useful. So I was a little mad about that. But I'll uh, take it with me. So we go to the mall. And oh it's wrapped very nicely. That's probably because probably I know it within here is kind of special but yeah look how nice that's wrapped so good job box lunch okay so yeah they put those on top okay so let me grab the little stuff that's a gift for a friend so i can't show you that one that's a little thing that's a little thing i really didn't order much just really can't she's standing on top of the box like that And, okay, oh, that's it, yeah. Those are two big things. Okay. One of them, that's much bigger than I expected. Okay. So, um, they also had a small sale, not on the big items I ordered, unfortunately, but like a 30%, 25, 30% off. Um, so I got another face mask. It's Looney Tunes. So that means it'll be the goofy face. So you will not be seeing me wear that or pictures of me wearing that. But it's coconut. Um, and it was only like three sixty. dollars you know, Normally they're like five bucks. So... Oh, no, 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 they're seven bucks. Wow. I got it for like, I think it was always oh, on clearance. It was like 360. So that's pretty cool. So it's coconut. Mud Beauty is a good company. I use them a lot. Uh, I do need to get back and use my face mask. Been a little bit better this past week over break, but I need to get back into doing that because people are telling me like I'm looking sick. <laughs> and my doctor told me I was actually good on my iron. She doesn't have to see me for regular checkups anymore. So that's exciting. My um, blood specialist. Okay. So this is another Disney Princess Blind uh, pin. 
blind box pins. See, and it doesn't tell you, unless you look on the back, it won't tell you, like, which, they don't tell you, like, the brand, because there's so many ones. There's, like, the cupcakes, there's the ice cream, there's the castle, there's the cameos I showed you in the last video. So, I don't know what's going on, but, because they look identical. Like, no matter, you just have to flip the backs, I guess. But it would be nice if it had the name on there somewhere. These normally are ten dollars. I got them for like a little less than seven because of the sale. And it's the princesses with mosaics in the background, and they're super light. Like I knew the cameos would be super heavy compared to the others because they're cameos. They open up metal, metal with metal. But I know, right? But anyway, let's see what we got here. All right, so I got Ariel. She's got like a purple shell background with um some bubble like a bubble diamond um they're not the like they're pretty but they're not the prettiest so i kind of debated even getting these but and i thought now i could try to and see what happens so i do like ariel she's in my top five princesses i mean i have i think every outfit they've made of her for funko pop <laughs> or um key Posket. Which I think I heard rumors they're making Kirk after Sakura Q Pocket. So if that's true, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I love Kirk after figures. And they don't have Funko Pops of them. One day. That would be brilliant. So, okay. And then this one is Belle. Also one of my top princesses. Alright, she's got like an orange and red background with the rose. Uh, right there. I never get Jasmine. The Jasmine, um... Uh, Keychain is still the only one in that princess line blind bag set I don't have. <laughs> and it makes me upset. <laughs> so, but Jasmine is on here. It has a traditional Jasmine pose. Um, let's see. They've got the classic three Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella. They got the Renaissance, Ariel, Belle, Pocahontas, Mulan, Jasmine. And Tiana. So they're doing the animated ones, like traditional animation, it seems like. So they don't have like Merida or Rapunzel or Elsa or Anna, which are separate to the Disney princess line, although they're princesses and slash queens. Um, Moana isn't on here, but so it's like the classic animated. And there's nine of those. So, so if you like mosaics, um, they're very light. Uh, not super small, but small on the smaller medium side is enamel pins and like the blind boxes. Uh, you can get one of those at Boxland for ten dollars regular price, or you can kind of go in there as a sale. <laughs> okay, so now for my big ones that I wanted, I kept going back and forth. One sold out, but then in a couple of days it came back in, and I was kind of like, oh god. And again, I don't need any more of these, and these were some of the more expensive ones. But when I saw them couldn't stop thinking about them. I fell in love. <laughs> it's also why I have a whole bunch of hot cash for a bunch of money in this case. I have hot cash too. So this is by Danielle Nicole, which is like I said last thing because she did the muses. Uh, it's the up and coming brand for like nerdy sheet things. If I can open it. The bag is nice. Uh, so How do you open it? Okay, it's a fake. I think it's like a tie, but it's a fake. It's a fake tie. Uh, take all the junk out. Now I'll show you what this beauty looks like. I was wearing my Oron backpack when I went to Dollar Tree in my town today and this girl kept staring at me and I was like okay is she like because I was dressed like in sweatpants and stuff because I'm only in there for a few minutes I'm like is she gonna like like does she think I'm weird or something <laughs> so then she came running back a couple minutes later and I'm like oh no and she's always I just have to tell you I love your backpack I love Oron so much I said oh thanks I love anime. I'm glad you know. And she just started teetering. She's a beautiful girl. And then I guess it was her boyfriend maybe that was with her. Like they walked in the and they started saying, kiss, kiss, fall in love really loud. And then he's like, I love it. And I just 
just been laughing. He goes, it's so good. So you never know who's gonna uh, like anime or Disney or anything. All right, you guys ready? All right, and this is a little soft pleather. All right. It's Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> Look how detailed this is. It's like a painting. It's gorgeous. It's like, it's like soft pleather right here. This looks like it's uh, actual real leather, but it's not. And it's just a flip right here. So it's got a nice big pocket. Oh, okay, in here inside. It's got flowers from Sherwood Forest, which is stunning. And the flowers are also on, it's got two pockets. I love when they have pockets. And the flowers are even on the strap. And they're super soft straps. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, beautiful. And it's got the Disney logo with Annie on the coal. It's got a zipper pouch inside. I'm not going to be able to show it. It's kind of the, because it's just black. And then it's got a real tiny pouch right there. And you hold like a very small phone or a plastic or something. But oh, like like the the whole front is what I got for me. And then look, it's got Marion's flower ring that he gave her. I, Robin Hood's so good. It it's definitely one of my favorite underrated Disney films, and I'm glad it's been getting recognition. Um, the past couple years in their community. Oh, I thought this was like metal. This is a pleather too. It's painted, so. And it's tied beautifully. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So again, I don't need this, but oh, I will look forward to using it. So here is her logo. Disney Daniel Nicole. Nicole, sorry. And for full price, um, it would have been $75. I got it for $71, which isn't much cheaper, but, <laughs> but I couldn't help it. It was gorgeous. So, uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. But that's not all because I had a problem. <laughs> so we got another friend here. This one's big. Like, I'm surprised how big this one is. And this is the one that sold out and I got really worried because I really, you know, I just bought a purse not too long ago from this franchise, although I love this franchise. This one really struck me. And I just was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And this is from Her Universe, which kind of started um, the nerd chic movement, mostly with first at fashion. Uh, my friend Kat got me into her a couple years ago and I actually got to meet the lady who started the company at Disney World. She was there, and my cat was my friend. Cat worked at Disney World um, in the college program for about a year and a half, and it was. It was I'm sure it was awesome to meet her. I, I have some of her like uh, lines, dresses, and stuff. So I know she did other accessories and things, but I've never had one of her backpacks. So, and eh, I'll get that later. <laughs> trying to grab all the stuff out. Oh, and the inside's gorgeous. Wow. I know that's a weird thing to like, but it just it just shows love and attention to detail. It makes you feel like you know here. <laughs> You're not getting you know ripped off or anything. Let me take these off. So these, this is pleather. So I never had a soft pleather one like the Robin Hood one. So that will be interesting. Oh, it's got a square hook at the top instead of the circular. Or if that makes a difference. It's more like a um, rectangle. I'll keep that for recycling. Okay, you guys ready? <gasps> Look at that. It's Bell and Beans. See, I have just Bell, like a beautiful, like oil canvas type 
think, but in like the rose petals, you can actually touch them. These will be the first things to get messed up. <laughs> and this feels like those old 90s uh, backpack decals they put on there <laughs> of your favorite characters. Uh, but the leaves and the stars are etched in. This is her universe up there. Nice metal. That's gorgeous. So uh, it's a soft leather, not nearly as soft as the Robin Hood one, but definitely soft. Uh, so it's also got pockets. So it's got pockets on both sides. Uh, it's got just like the other one, it's got a zipper compartment and it's got like roses and the castle in like a gray maybe um, the gray stuff color it's delicious which is fun yeah it's just the rose in the castle and then the rose inside um, so that's great so I wanted it for the front and I my first um, fly backpack was Aladdin it was very close to this color but this is kind of the main reason I bought it I'd never seen this before, so give me just a sec. So the backpack, you know, the back is normal, okay. But it has a clippy where you can clip things on, which is cool in itself, but it also came with this, like a little mini um, pouch. So it's a two for one and it says tail, a tail as old as time, which is just so cute. And I'm gonna take the stuff out of that, cause I'm sure, oh. Well, that's going in the recycle for my college for kids and it's got the same insides as well but i really love that i just thought that was so cute so you can do this separately maybe put something else on here or if you want to put this on here or like a coin purse or a medicine pouch or something you can put that there so yay so again this one is really gorgeous as well uh i guess i'll cut off the <laughs> um this one this one I'm not surprised. So, oh, I gotta take the tape off of the things. But yeah, so that's my um, Fox Lunch and a uh, couple Hot Topic orders. Um, I'm very pleased with the quality of everything. Again, you know, you are expensive, but you do get what you pay for. So I'm just gonna <laughs> have to be more selective uh, with my stuff. But. I really, really enjoy these, so <laughs> it did help me smile a little bit, just like you guys did. So uh, again, patrons, uh, we're going to try to redo the big video challenge, uh, which involves me eating food that I probably don't want to eat <laughs> um, on Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. And then from there, I'll send out the January calendar as well. If you're not a patron, think about joining. We're trying to get an audiobook. Uh, for my Hunter and Bringer new adult series, got two amazing narrators on board. Just have to obviously pay them for their services. Um, and they're being more than fair. They're super talented. The Patreon even has the first 12-ish, 10 or 12-ish minutes for free that you can listen to if you're a patron. So that's really cool. Get to hear them do their stuff. <laughs> and they're such beautiful souls. So I'm so lucky to have them represent my characters. My spirit vision book should also be out soon. Amazon's being difficult. Um, so that's been stressful. But um, Abby Anderson, she's the, a different narrator. She does my young adult series, Spirit Vision. Did a beautiful job. And it should release uh, any time now. So save some money on those iTunes cards or Amazon cards. Or if you have Audible, uh, you can use a credit. Or, of course, you can always spend money. Um, I believe it will be in the $20 to $30 range. I listed up today on Amazon, but Amazon finally, they decide the price and it goes by hours most of the time, but they said, um, there's different factors and I don't get to set the price. So just as a heads up, if you're curious about purchasing it, but it's a, uh, almost a 16 hour book. So I think, <laughs> I think you'll get your money's worth and Abby is incredible. And you can always buy the story on Amazon for me and follow along as well. Or you know, you'll go back and forth between the two, depending on where you're at. I know people who do that as well. All right, guys, you are beautiful, dazzling, shining stars. Uh, make sure you are fantastic. Make sure you support um, your passions in life because that helps make you happy. And when you're happy, the world is so much better. So go out there and be the happiest that you can be and know that you are loved and appreciated and your light is worth so very, very much. And check out Laura Olympus if you haven't. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs>
All right. Thank you guys for spending this evening with me and making me feel better. I don't know what to do without you. Love you all. And just in case, I'll see you uh, next year <laughs> in 2022. Okay. Toodles.